Welcome to WATS 3010, Introduction to Web Development. This course is part of a certificate in Web Technology and Application Studies at Seattle University. I'm Becky Peltz, and I'm going to walk you through the set of tutorials for Skills1 Repo, which teach you the basics of HTML and CSS. There will be a separate video for each tutorial in the Skills1 Repo. You will only have to fork the repo once and publish to GH Pages once, but I'll point this out in every video. The Skills1 tutorial prepares you for Project 1, a page with internal navigation. In this tutorial, unlike some of the others, we're not going to be uh, doing a lot of styling. This is more about learning how to set up navigation um, with the anchor tag for internal and external navigation. So with that in mind, let's take a look at the requirements here. Um, yes, we're going to be just uh, Taking our, we are going to see that we're going to have two pages. So we have this about page, or sorry, this index.html page, and then we have an about page. Um, and the content is pretty irrelevant, and there won't be a lot of styling. You can see we're not, you know, we're what we're going to end up with here if we look at the final project is. Um, the images for the final project, you can see that we're not trying to do any nav bar with horizontal layout. But what we are going to do is we're going to make all of these links active. So <clears throat> home article one and article through article three will link internally. And then the external article will take us to an external page on a different website. The about page will be a page within this project. Uh, it will have the same navigation, but the active designation will differ. So um, that's where we're going. Um, and also on the index page, we're going to put a link to home at the bottom because this is potentially a, a long scroll. And so we're going to make it easy for the user to get back to the top by putting a link at the bottom. So this is all about setting up links and uh, navigation. Um, and some of this will be a review because we've already used some anchor tags in some of our exercises, um, but I think it will be useful to see it pulled together here. There's a little discussion here about relative linking. Um, so we do want to use relative linking. So absolute linking would have us put a forward slash in front of our uh, name. Um, that would be root relative, and it would mean that whatever the domain slash is where you're going to find index HTML, so in the root of this domain. And the fact is, since we're deploying to GitHub I.O. and our deployment is going to be under a repo, we can't really, we aren't going to be deploying to, to the root relative. That we can't, we're not deploying to the root. So we want to always use relative links, and that means that we refer to our pages within this this website, web linking navigation, within this route, we refer to these as index.html, about.html, or we can use the dot slash, which is equivalent to saying, starting here, go to the folder that I'm currently in, dot slash. So we'll see that used in here. Um, so the first thing we're told to do, we're going to set up some internal linking between so in our navigation we will set up articles one two and three and to do that we need to we're going to add an ID to each of the articles so let's open up this index.html and you can see we have three articles here and so we're going to add it we're going to add the ID to our article so we'll say article ID equals article one and then ID equals article, article 2 and ID article 3. All right, so that gives us a, a handle on each of these articles, that handle being the ID. And then the next step is that we will add a href to all of the anchor tags in the nav. Um, so that they will take us to the correct internal link. So for article one, we'll do href equals, and we use a hash when we're referring to local um, IDs. And I'm just going to do some copy and paste here. 
and I'll do Article 2, Article 3, and Article 2, and Article 3. Um, <clears throat> and then um, the external link to the about page will to the about page. So we're, it's external to this page, but within the website. So this about over here, we're going to use a dot slash. So in here, we'll use href equals dot slash about dot html and you can you can use just about dot html in those cases but some IDEs prefer this dot slash and it is it just means starting in my current directory which is the dot slash about html so it's 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 a relative link to something that's in my direct current relative to my current directory it's actually in the same directory. Um, it's just a way to make it more explicit. Okay, um, and then let's see, we want to link up the external. We're going to create an external link here href equals this HTTPS, a Wikipedia article. And I also recommend a target equals underscore blank so that it will open up in, an, in a separate tab. That way we don't lose our users focus on our website. And let's just see what this looks like now. So for yes, yeah, so we've just kind of added links. Oh, and for the home, we are going to use an empty string. So the empty string for the href equals that. And um, by setting that to empty string, that causes the page to go back up to the top. So when we click on home, click on article one, we go to article one, article two, article three. And notice three doesn't, we don't, it doesn't scroll us to the top because this is the bottom of the page, but it puts it into our view. So that, so those are, those are hooked up. The next thing that we're going to do is copy the nav chunk of HTML on the about page, copy the nav chunk of HTML onto the about page so that all pages have the same navigation. So we're going to grab this nav element adapt tag with its children, the unordered list, the list items, and the anchor tags. And we're going to put them into our, um, we're going to put the, the nav in there. And just to be consistent, we're putting it underneath the H1, the heading one. And then we're told that um, we should reference article one, two, and three with dot slash index HTML. So, because that is only meaningful, that that would indicate that that those articles were on this about page and they're not. But we can just preface those with this index HTML <clears throat> and home. Also, we want it to go back to HTML, so that would be the the and home here in in a in a real kind of business type website. Home would be like the brand, and it would be rather than the word home, and it just means and it's typically up in the left hand side of the page, top left somewhere, and so it just is a way for the user to always go home because sometimes when you're totally lost in a website, at least if you go home, you can kind of start again to find your way. So this should now be set up so that I can get to the about page and and navigate and now if I click on article one it will take me back to article one on the index page and the external article will take me to a new link about articles. So that sets up that navigation and then the final thing we want to do is add the active class to the home link on index one and the about link on the about page. So we're going to add a class on the link. So class equals active 
on the index. And then on the about page, we'll make the about equal active. So this is so that when you're on a page, you can quickly see by looking at the navigation um, what, where you're, uh, which page you're on. And so we'll, we'll set this up. We'll add this. Well, let's see. We need to create a CSS file. So we're going to, um, if we look here at step four, we want to add a folder and a CSS file. So CSS and style.css. And we're going to need to add that to both our about page and our same same link to both the about and the index. Let's see how those style sheet. Oops. CSS style. So I will copy this onto the index.html as well. So now we've got a style sheet and we are asked to got the style sheet uh, code the active class so we're going to set the color to white and the background color to black so now if i look at my about up oh, looks like i set that incorrectly let's go back so we have the about yeah so on the about page Yes, we don't want that, but on the index page, we want the active. So now when we go home, yes. So now we've got those properly marked with active. And this is just kind of general navigation conventions. Um, at the bottom of the page, we're going to provide a link. So at the bottom of the index.html, and we could even put it at the bottom of the about page, but let's just put it on the index.html and what that is going to do so after the article let's put it after name we'll just have that kind of down at the bottom of the index html and then we should be able to click on that to go up to the top and um, We're kind of using the word home in two ways. One, the home page, um, and also the top of the page. But in any case, that is just a technique that you might, if you have a really long page, or sometimes you, know, you just want to have other ways to navigate throughout your page, this can be a way to do that. And then we're going to style our anchor tags. So, you know, we're going to um, give them some um, we're going to use some of the anchor pseudo classes visited you know before we saw that the default browser is styles would be that all anchor tags would be blue and then if you visited them they'd be purple well now we're going to uh, give them we're going to say if it's visited it was gray if it's active, which means that you're you're in it, it's yellow. You're going into it, it's yellow. And if you're hovering on it, it's red. And let's just see if we can spot these effects. So if we go here, let's see. So I think that so we're seeing the red, which is when we're hovering. Um, you see that they turn gray when we, um, once they're gray, we can't really turn them back without doing some coding of another sort. Um, I think the active is kind of the hard one to see. There, you can kind of see that um, when I went in here. Now, as I click on it, as it's active, before I release it, you see the, that background color yellow. So those are just kind of looking at some of the states. Um, so though that is kind of what we want to do for this. Really just a way to see how we might deal with linking both internal and external and how we need to um, add some information to our nav bar 
so that the user is aware of this date. So let's just check this in. Just check what we have there. Linking and navigation. Okay, push. And once again, we'll go out. And take a look at this. Let's see. Clicking here. Take a look and see that this is set up. Yes, yeah, so we got those set up. We can go to Article 1. We can go to Article 3. We can go home. We can go bring up our external article. We can go about back to Article 1. So I think that all looks good. And you're just going to want to, again, turn in the, there's always a single link for this whole assignment for all of these uh, tutorials. All right.